In this video, we'll continue to look at some of the information we store in the address book for your orchestra musicians. We'll use the same musician from our previous video, Daniel Norton, the violinist we created. And here in the details pane, on the main screen at the top, you see the address group, instrument, and contact information. If we scroll down to the bottom of the details pane, we tuck away here some fields you can use if you need them. And you'll notice at the bottom of the screen, we have the option of storing a middle name, a maiden name, and these three name fields beneath those can be used for anything your orchestra requires, and the labels of those fields can be changed. For example, uh, an orchestra musician may be known by one name in your organization, but travel or have legal documents in a different name. So we can use those fields as they're required. Also at the bottom, you'll see uh, a title and salutation field, which can be used when printing formal letters and contracts and things like that. I'll scroll back up to the top of the details pane. If we now move to the personal data screen in the address book, we'll see some other information you may require for your orchestra members. You can see birth date and city, state, country information. If the musician has passed away, there's also death information. At the bottom of the screen, we can see uh, gender information. This can be helpful if we're running a personal letter or contract. We can match the gender with the dress code, marital status, and other information you may need to keep for personnel reasons or for touring. In the next videos, we'll look at additional information for musicians uh, more geared toward their employment and their participation with your orchestra.